hope everyone's doing well um, and figuring out this distance learning thing. I know this is new and different for everybody, um, but I hope in the midst of everything and all the work that you are getting done that you are hopefully finding some time to make some art also. Um, so I have here on my page, um, you know, some different sections. I've got a section for my preschoolers, my elementary kids and middle schoolers. Um, and I will be updating those with some more ideas and resources and things that you can use um, for when you have the time and, uh, you know, maybe need a break from some other things. Um, right now I have on there for some of you guys to just go outside and draw something. Um, and I have seen a couple of my students have shared with me some things that they've made. And so I love seeing those. So thank you guys for sending those in. Um, so again, I will be updating those with more things, more activities for you. Um, we'll have a little bit more on there next week. Um, but the other thing that I wanted to try and do for you guys, um, just to have a little bit more interaction, is to make some videos on how to use some things that you might have laying around at home to make art, okay? Because I know not everybody um, might have access to things like paint and paintbrushes and pastels and all that. Um, so I wanted to show you how to use some things that you I just already have laying around um, to make a little bit more crafty things and you can get as complex with these as you want. So I'm going to show you um, just kind of the basics and then you can take it and run with it and then I'll also post some resources um, that have some different ideas to go along with it so you can kind of do a little bit more digging and um, figure out some things on your own if you'd like. But what we're going to be using today is a toilet paper roll. So this is something that I'm sure, absolutely sure that everyone has in their home because there are none in this stores, okay? Um, but we're going to use a toilet paper roll um, for our project today. There are actually lots, 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 lots of things that you can do with these. They're very um, versatile kind of crafty thing and so um, you know if you did any kind of research on it you would find tons of ideas and so again I'll put some resources out there um, and we'll probably come back to these maybe in some future videos so if you want to um, maybe start making a small collection that you could you know don't be a hoarder but you can start collecting some of these um, for some future projects as well but what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to make this cute little dinosaur out of a toilet paper roll. Okay, so I'm just going to set him right there while I show you uh, step by step what we're going to do. So the first thing you need is you need a toilet paper roll. You will need a pen or a pencil of some sort and um, some scissors, possibly also a parent to help you um, with the cutting process. Some of you um, might need help with that. So you know, just ask your parents to help you if you need that. But what you're going to do to start with is you're going to take this toilet paper roll and you're going to smush it. Okay, so just kind of flatten it out, uh, make it nice and flat all the way around. And then we're going to draw just half the dinosaur on one side of this toilet paper roll to give us an idea of where we're going to cut it. Okay, so I'm going to show you the outline that you're going to draw. I'll just hold this up here for an awkward second. Um, in case you need to pause the video or anything so you can see the outline and you can copy that on your own. But just the outline of what you're going to do is you will trace out the head. So that's going to bulge out just a little bit going from starting from the top, coming around, and then you're going to slant slide down just a little bit. You want it to get a little bit bigger as you go down towards the body. Um, you want to leave a little bit of space. This is maybe like a little over an inch, inch and a half. Um, and then you want to cut over for the back, make it just a nice straight line, and then slant back up. Sorry, slant back up. And this time you wanna taper it off to where it comes off to a point at the edge. Okay, so that's gonna be your head, your long neck for your dinosaur, it's gonna be a long neck one, um, and your tail. And then down here at the bottom, you wanna um, leave a space for two legs. So you want to uh, draw a space in between the legs, so that's just gonna be up, over, and down. Um, and then you also wanna cut out a space that's gonna go in between the front legs and the back legs. So it's just gonna go up and over. It wants to go off the edge here, and then up and over and go off the edge here, okay? So then you're going to use your scissors very carefully and just cut along those lines, okay? Once you have that cut out, it should look something like this, okay? So where you have the head, the neck, the tail, and the legs, um, and so then what you're going to do is you will fatten them up a little bit. You want to straighten it back out to where it's nice and rounded. Okay, so that way then you can see all four legs are popping out and then you've got your head and your tail. You want to fold the tail down 
right at the base of where it meets that body. So just kind of press it down a little bit, give it a nice little fold so it can stick out that way. And then the head, um, you don't want to fold down the whole neck like you did the tail, but just right at the base of the, the head right here where you did the neck, made it a little bit thinner. You can fold that down so he can look up at you a little bit, okay? So once you have that done, um, you can kind of have some fun with it. You can, if you have paint at home, you can paint him um, or her, or you can color, use markers or crayons to work, just to add some things like eyes or toenails or polka dots or whatever else you want to add to him. Um, have some fun with it. Um, he'll of course need a name and then possibly some friends so you can make some more dinosaurs if you want to try um, Do a little research see how you can make some different kinds of dinosaurs out of toilet paper rolls um, You know you can take that and run with it But again, I want to see some of these things that you guys are making so if you do um, Take on this challenge and make a little toilet paper roll dinosaur um, Please feel free to take a picture of it and either email it to me or um, have your parents share it on Facebook and then they can tag the CHCA Art with Miss Anderson Facebook page. There's a link to that um, up here on my on the website so you guys can um, have access to that. So let me see what you guys are doing. Um, and be on the lookout for more videos. Again, I'm going to update this with some more things that you can um, do with some things around the house. But until then, I hope you guys have a great weekend and hope to see you soon.